Yo, the microwave editing trend is kind of going crazy right now on TikTok and I thought like nobody ever made a tutorial on that so I'm gonna do it. You probably see the edit right now on the screen. Let's do this. All right, I already set the beats of the audio and now we'll do the clips. Um, and yeah, by the way, press Control Shift D to cut. Okay, I finished the clips now and now we will do the first thing. This trickster reverse time remap, however you want to call it. Before we start, put multi frame rate and motion blur on so the edit will be smooth. Go to your first clip and mark it. Right click, go to time and freeze frame. Yeah, this will look kind of confusing, but don't worry. If you look at the left, there are a bunch of numbers and looks like super confusing, but don't worry. So what you need to do now is to hold the left mouse button and just play around with the last number. I increased my value by 60 milliseconds. Then go to the end of your clip and move the cursor 10 frames to the left. You can just hold control shift and the left arrow key. So you will move 10 frames to the left and then just move your key frame you just made to the spot so now go back to the ending of your clip and now we will do this kind of reverse thing so we need to go back with our milliseconds i would recommend reducing the milliseconds by 35 to 50 so i changed it from 0923 to 843 which are 50 milliseconds once you have that Mark all of your keyframes and easy ease. Just press F9 for that and go to the graph editor and copy my graph. Yeah, I will do this now with every single clip. All right, I finished the time remap and yeah, this is how it looks right now. I know it looks a little bit stiff, but trust me, we will make it look cool. The next thing we will do is pre-composing all of the clips. So mark your clip and press Control shift c on your keyboard and press OK. And do this now for all of the other clips. Perfect. The next thing we will do are the zooms. Mark your first clip and press S on your keyboard so scale opens and keyframe it. Press U on your keyboard so you will see the keyframe and go to the end of your clip. Then change the value to 115 and move the keyframe 10 frames to the left and then go to the end of your clip and change the value to 100. Then mark all of the keyframes and easy ease. Go to the graph editor and copy my graph. Now mark all of the keyframes and press Ctrl C to copy it and go to your next clip, mark it and press Ctrl V so you paste it. Then press U on your keyboard and match the keyframes. By the way, your second keyframe should always be there where this kind of reverse starts. So for us, it was 10 frames to the left from the end. Now do this for every single clip and just match the keyframes to the clip and then you have your zooms done. Now we will do some X lights and a Y shake to make it look cooler. And we will start with the X lights. Search for S underscore blomo curves in the effects bar and put it onto your clip. Go to wrap X and put reflect on and keyframe shift X and change the value to minus 900. Press U on your keyboard and move the cursor 10 frames to the right and change the value to zero. Mark both of the keyframes, press F9 and copy my graph. Once you finish that, mark your keyframes and press Ctrl C on your keyboard so you copy it. Then go to your third clip and press Ctrl V 
and keep going with it. So you will do this with every single clip except the first one because we will do the Y shake there. Perfect. Okay, so now go to your first clip, search for Esplermo Curves again and put it onto your clip. Make sure to put Reflect on, on Rep Rai. Keyframe, Shift Y and change the value to minus 900. Move the cursor 10 frames to the right and change it to zero. Press U on your keyboard, mark both of the keyframes, easy ease. Go to the graph editor and copy my graph. What I like to do next is to put a bunch of one framers into my edits to make it look cooler. Go to layer, new and create a new adjustment layer. Cut it so it's just like one frame. And I will put a mega link in the video description and I will put some presets of mine in there, some one framers so you can use them as well. And just put a bunch of one framers onto those adjustment layers. And yeah, then you're basically done with that. Then mark all of it and pre-compose it. So you have one huge clip and then press Control D to copy it and move it to the right. So we have a loop now and we're almost done. I also added a white transition here to make it look a little bit more unique if you want to know how to make a X and Y blur request transition, just watch this tutorial right here. It's super easy and simple and your edits will look so much better. Mark both of your clips and pre-compose them so we have one big clip. Then search for S underscore flicker in the effects bar and put it onto your clip and change the amplitude to 0.13 and you're done with that. Now search for S underscore shake in the effects bar and put it onto your clip because you will do the panning now. Change the amplitude to 0.06 and the frequency to 4.5. Nice. And now you're basically done. I also added a watermark and obviously my coloring. And this is pretty much it. I hope I could help you with that. And yeah, bye bye. Oh, who is that, Deaver?